All right, we are go. It's been a week. Cool. My voice sounds weird. Okay, is this too loud? Do I need to turn this down? Let's just turn down the mic a little bit on this end. Maybe that's too much. I don't know. I don't want it to blow out everybody's eardrums if people are listening on headphones. Hello, YouTubes. And hello to anybody who's already lurking out there. I bet, I, I bet Vern's out there. I haven't checked yet, but I'm betting Vern is hiding. So let's see. So here's the plan today. Right? Uh, we've done a lot of crazy. Let's kill this route. Um, there's two things, really, that we need to do. We're going to start in Royal City. Assuming the save still works, because I had some trouble with my emulator uh, a couple of days back for YouTube. Uh, people on the stream will know, but uh, for YouTube, I, uh, I, yeah, I messed up good. I messed up good. So there's a couple of things that are interesting to me. This right here is certainly interesting. Um, I'm not sure what is there. This right here. But I imagine it's a dungeon and I'm not going to worry about it yet. What I actually want to do... We know where two moon gates are. I want the other six. So we're going to get a gang of rookies together to map out the, uh, the moon gates. So the plan here is to head south, maybe stop at Montour West to get some uh, supplies, and then we're going to head to this moon gate right here, and we're going to map this place out as best we can. I've got a fair good idea where everything is, I hope, maybe memory of this game seems to tell me that there is a moon gate here somewhere. I'm not sure if that's true, but it feels like there's no other way to get in there. We can't get into the sides. And if we're re really lucky, we'll find a moon gate right here. Or next to moon, now that I think about it. Why wouldn't moon have a moon gate? So, alright, that's the plan, man. Okay. Let's see if our save is still there. <laughs> I had to get a new emulator, but I couldn't import the save. And this thing had some trouble creating new saves, especially for Shadowgate for some reason. I don't know. The new emulator works great, but we're stuck with this one until I can find a way to convert this uh, save file to uh, the one for the new emulator, which I don't think is possible. I tried to trick it, and apparently no. So let's form a party. I was just doing this to kind of dick around to see if anything actually saved saved. Uh, we might actually use some sta save states while we're in Lord British's castle, and that is purely because I don't trust the save function of uh, Nestor anymore. It's weird. I've had this program since 2001, and this is the first time I've had e any kind of small problem with it. So what do we got here? Um, I don't know who we have and have not used. It's now more than half. We've used more than half. We definitely want Sneak involved in this, because Sneak... Um, we could get Yiffer involved, or Yuri. We haven't seen either of those. Not really. Uh, this first one, we're going to need Flynn, because he's the guild treasurer for the Loon attacks. Let's see, we've done Klaus. Have we done... What is he? Elven Druid. Druids are pretty badass. Let's put uh, Bjorn in there. And... Alnan, was he already level 2? I need to get him a second sword to represent how dumb he is with a second sword. Who's Hugo? We're running out of battle people. We got a Bobbit Lark. A Bobbit Barbarian. 
Sure, let's grab the Bobbit Barbarian. His name is Ugg. And we'll replace Flynn in a second. So, alright. This is basically, who's going to be the purser here? Well, I mean, obviously being the thief is probably going to be the purser. So let's gold Flynn. And we're going to give Sneak all the gold. Okay, let's save. Would you like to save the game? Yes. All right, let's see if this actually saved. Oh, uh, that's right. There we are. Create, form party, and looks good. Keep Ugg there. Let's get rid of Flynn. Okay, so what do we got? We got a thief, a barbarian, a druid, which could act as a pretty good... Do we have any other druids? Lerna. We can just grab both of the druids. Wait a second. We've had Lerna, haven't we? Yeah, we've had Lerna. Vorgan, me... Or, vegan, Morty. Hugo. Human illusionist. Have we used you, Hugo? Let's grab Hugo. Okay. Order. Uh, switch Hugo and Ugg. Ugg smart barbarian. So, what do we got here magic-wise? Hugo is... Alright. Hugo is will-based magic. And Bjorn is a cleric. Let's see their status. Um, maximum hit, uh, magic points is what I'm looking for. Bjorn can cast quite a bit. You can do open, heal. Might be our healer. Actually, we have two healers here. That could be useful. Especially considering the uh, thiefy is going to be involved. You know, I didn't load up the manual to see what we're doing here. Okay, let's see here. Arcade, NES, Manuel, Manuel! There we are. I want to see what uh, thieves can use here. Thieves can use swords and leather. That'll be easy to equip him. None of these people have proper equipment. We're going to start with food. We'll get 200 sandwiches. Uh, actually, it's pierogies now. We're, we're going Polish. So, we need 200 po uh, pierogies. Then we'll gear up people with weapons. That sounds good. I don't know what the hell I was doing there. Alright, everybody give Sneak their money, because this is a bright idea. Wouldn't it be, like, great if Sneak was actually the most honorable thief? Like, oh yeah, uh, I, I actually have no desire for money, I just, I just like taking things. I mean, I give it back afterwards. It's kind of like you catch a fish and then you throw it back in. I don't know. I think this is the second to last newbie group. So, interesting. And I am... I'm really wondering how I'm going to transfer this save over. Eh. Groceries! Hello there! We have come to take pierogies. Uh, we need um, more pierogies. There we go. Food. And what's everybody at now? 200 foods. Awesome. How much gold do we got after that? Okay, we will get a sword, an axe. Um, what do illusionists use? Mace for the illusionists and mace for the druids. So we need two maces, a sword, and an axe. We, can, we got muns for that. 
And right now everybody is loaded up in clothes, but I'm sure after this adventure they'll get better armors. Pardon me, armor. Get out of my way. We require weapons. Hello, I would like to buy one mace. Two mace. A sword. And an axe. Can barbarians use... Barbarians can really use everything. Let's give him a spear. We don't have anybody with a spear. All right. Ugh, you spear. Ugh, former fisherman. Let's give the spear to Ugh. There you go. Enjoy it, Ugh. Give it a name. This mace over to Bjorn. And give this mace over to Hugo. Who realizes that, yes, she's got a male's name. Her father wanted a boy. I think everybody should keep their dagger on them for now. Well, they'll never use it, but you never know when a dagger can come in handy, and it's really not that much money. So, let me see here. Barbarians can wear leather, and thieves can wear leather. How much is leather? Uh, leather is 200. Let's do it. What can... Druids wear cloth, so that's not an issue. And illusionists wear leather. So let's get an extra leather. Wow, okay, gearing these people up was easier than I thought it would be. Give that to Ugg. Give that to Hugo. Alright, now clothes can go for quite a bit, so we will be handing over the clothes. Oh, that's right. You, you just use cloth. Actually, I guess Hugo could be a guy, just with red hair. The thing says female, but, uh, eh. He's trans. <laughs> Spells and all that. Actually, goes a lot smoother than with medical uh, know-how nowadays in our own world. It's good to know. Dysphoria is a terrible thing. All right, let's uh, grab everybody's clothes. God, I've been waiting to say that. No, no. Sell clothes. Sell clothes. Sell clothes. Okay. We are now geared up. So, first part of the flan is the flan. First part of the flan is delicious and moist. Is to head south towards Montour West. All right. Hopefully, we'll find a new town. Maybe Sneak will go to his hometown of uh, Death Gulch, where all the honorable uh, people are single ladies. Well, it looks like we're going to be able to test out this group in battle.
Missed. That's okay. There we go. Boom. A powerful spell, Undead. Cripes. Killed everyone. Missed. That is okay. We have missile. Yeah. Boom. There we go. All right, sneak. It is time to test this out. You're a thief. Be thiefy. Huh. Kind of disappointing. this again. Alright, well, we're going in. Going in strong. I don't remember what everybody's strength was. I'm sure this won't be a bad idea. Everybody in position. Swing and a miss. Club him with your bad hand. I did give these guys weapons, right? Why are they missing? Sure, the druid and the illusionists are, are uh, doing fine. Sneak is blocking everybody's attack with his face, so, you know, that's very effective. There we go. Okay, first off, magic this. Uh, Hugo, can you heal Sneak? He's kind of got a uh, head wound. Speaking of head wound... Now that he's dizzy, we can uh, get him to open up this, uh... Ooh, 83 gold. Not bad. Nope. Oh, that's not the way to Montour West. Undead again. Hey, there we go. Lovely. You know what? Screw it. Hugo, you open that. I mean, thieves are one thing, but clerics are super overpowered. Alright, Montor West. I don't remember, was there food here? I was just gonna open up and grab like an extra couple of hundred of food. Uh, let me see here. Whoop. Wrong one. Is there food in this place? Where is food place? Is this food place? This is not food place. I demand pierogies! Nope, that is a... That's a barracks. Oh, here we go. Maybe? Welcome to the armory. Never mind. What about you? Welcome to weapons. Damn it. We need food. Just walking around, we're constantly shoving pierogies down our gut hole. Hey, go to bed or you will be sleepy tomorrow. It's too late to be playing Ultima. There we go. Alright, let's grab a couple hundred. There we go, 233, that's pretty good. I like you, you are my friend. Hey. Crying out, there we go. Okay, and uh, this is where we find out that Sneak is an alcoholic. What is that, three? Uh, I'll tell you a secret, search the island. 
All right, this is what I seem to remember. Like, in the original game, I think you would give a certain amount of gold for information at the bars. And... I was wondering how come I'm only buying, like, ten gold at a time. I thought that was weird. know how to spell. Search the island. should we really be given this guy? Don't drink too much. Another drink? Yeah! Okay, you can only go up to 50. Alright, so another thing that happened is... I can handle my liquor. I can handle it all the way to the bottom of my gullet. Okay. We are loaded up on FUD. And what's over here? Oh, good. Thank God. Another one. Let's do it. Bar hopping. Okay, same, uh, same thing. Don't drink too much. Okay, so we, we've pretty much get spent 100 gold guzzling down special brew in our throat holes. Good times. Looks pretty safe. Let's see here. Actually, I need the moon page. We gotta figure things out. What day is it? Uh, it is day seven. Okay. What day do we need it to be? We need it to be at least um, waxing gibbous day 22. So we're going to be out for a while. It's okay. We got plenty of food. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, good. I can just wait. I was wondering if that was even possible. There we go. Alright, it is now day 13. Damn, that was fast. I need... Actually, I need to check status. Everybody's fully healed. Everybody's got all their magic, so really all we're waiting for is the moon gate. Ah, 
All right, there's the first moon gate that we're going to be going through. So let's figure this out. That is a, uh, a waxing crescent. Okay, the waxing crescent is over here. So we already know the waxing crescent. The next one we want to try and go to will be, I guess, the waxing half. Okay. Two, three, four. There we go. That's the waxing half. Let's go in. Right. This is going to get interesting because we still go like form. Oh my god. We might get ejected somewhere completely different. So. <laughs> So let's, let's start with figuring out what the hell just happened. We were in uh, mountains that I don't know where it was. So, um, cool. And the mountains was a passageway before we immediately got attacked. Um. Uh, um. Let's let's say the mountains were here. I, I don't know. There, there, there. We'll say the mountains were here. All right. Um, <laughs> it was the top part, right? So we'll say like there's a there's an opening. I'm gonna need it to be lighter than that. Yeah, like that. Okay. We'll say there's. Okay, that was a waxing half. <laughs> yeah? Yeah? That was a waxing half? That was a waxing half. Okay. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> what the hell am I doing? <laughs> okay, well... Let's fight. I'm fighting words. It's going to be a while. Like, it'll be very unlikely since we started at a... Uh... Oh, shoot. Hang on. I got to move this. Hang on. Put it right there. Okay. So, that happened. That was a thing. Because this crew goes into battle against more undead than they can shake a stick at. Guess we're getting ready for battles. All the clerics cast undead. Hugo. Formerly Hugina? I don't know. Uh, frankly, I'm uncomfortable pushing that joke too far. Two there. There we go. It's really weird to me that magicians are, like, magic power based and can cast, like, uh, missiles. That is pretty strange. Uh, I don't, I don't want to use undead more than once per battle per turn, or I mean once per battle per person. It feels like cheating because you can't do that in the original game. Victory! Uh, Alright, let's see here. Bjorn! How's your open spell doing? Pretty good! Whoa, uh... This is a full moon.
So that just opened. What luck! Okay, so a full moon will take us to another full moon, its own place. Huh. Uh, we're in day two right now, so it'll take us to um, a waning gibbous and a waning half. Do we know where the waning gibbous is? No. Why don't we go to the waning gibbous? That sounds like a bar name. Oh, hi! This is, uh... This is... Okay. P pretty sure that's Castle Exodus. Which should be roughly here-ish. I think this is what's referred to as Fire Island. Okay, this is a waning gibbous. So, all right. What day is Waning Gibbous Day? Right now it is day two. Day 22 is Waxing Gibbous. Okay, day four. So it's not that bad. Good to know. And that'll take us to a Waning Crescent, which I don't think we have, or a New Moon. New moon sounds spooky. Maybe we'll find that one out. Yeah, one, two, three, four. We have four out of the eight. Let's try the new moon. And see what comes up. Is there a way to collect everybody together? Yes, there we go. Okay, now we wait. How's our food situation? We're doing great. Wait, what? Oh, no, that's right, that's right, it's day four, okay. All right, new moon, going in. Where am I? Oh my god, I realize where I am, okay. Yeah, yeah, this is exactly the right place. It's that place that I was searching for. Uh, it's uh, this direction. Yeah. It's this. If you go here, um, let's take the routes. If you start at like Montour East and you start heading this way, you'll wrap around to the top of the map and it goes here. So this is actually where it is. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So that's what's at the end here. And this is a new moon. Cool. So where can the new moon take us? Uh, can take us to a new moon. That ought to be fun. Uh, open crescent or open half. Uh, open crescent takes us over to this place. I don't see... Oh, open half takes us to here. Let's try going back here. Let's go to the open half, because we didn't get to see a whole lot of that. 
That, of course, also means that we're going to be fighting. Now, these guys. Not worried about these guys. They did. Bjorn with the victory points. Let's just grab this. Aha! Trap! Okay, so we gotta wait for a new moon, and we're going to the half moon area. Right? Right? That's what I'm doing? Yeah, so it's actually... Uh, we're on day 13, we need to wait two days. Two, three, four, one, two, three. There we go. Okay, now let's switch to status so that we can stack everybody on one block. Now this should bring us a new moon, but we're waiting for the half moon. Where can the half moon take us? This is an opening half. Takes us to a uh, closing crescent, waning crescent, or a waning half, or the new moon, which we already know where that goes. Waning crescent, do we have that? No. And waning half, do we have that? Also no. Let me just mark this off real quick. Okay, we've got new moon, we've got full moon, we've got uh, waxing gibbous, we've got waxing crescent, uh, we've got waxing half, we've got waning gibbous, so we need waning half and waning crescent. Those are the only two left. Oh, hi, Mark. Hey, Captain. We're exploring uh, the moon gates today. Yeah, you made it, man. Uh, you didn't miss much. Well, nah, you really didn't miss much. Easter stuff. Did you get those eggs hidden? Can't have those kids having it. Okay, so we need waxing or waning crescent and waning half. And this is waxing half. So we can do waning... Hmm. Let's do waning crescent. But we gotta wait. Good thing we got all this food. Okay. We are doing waning crescent. And let's jump in. Where am I? Um, let's say we're here. Because I need mountains. Happy Easter! Yeah, this will probably go up on Tuesday, so it's two days late. But Happy Easter anyway! Go in there and see where that dungeon is. You know that's where that that way you know where you are. That's true, and I probably should. This was a waning.
crescent. So we are done with the waning crescent. So that just leaves the uh, waning half. Loot, man. So here's the reason why I'm afraid to go into dungeons. Dungeons have everything, uh, like the first level of all dungeons is level three monsters and then it goes up from there. <laughs> it's level one and three monsters. They all go in odd number pairs. One, three, five, seven, nine. Uh, I can't remember if nine was the last group. It might go up to like uh, 13. Anyway, so all right, let's let's do some exploring, I guess, just so we can figure out what the name of this dungeon is. Good thing Mjor Bjorn has light. All right. The Cave of Moon. Okay, so this is the Moon Cave. Good to know. All right, let's get out of here. All right, we need to wait for a crescent moon. Right now it is day 24. That's quite a ways away. We need at least day 10. And we can actually meet the uh, half the waxing, or yeah, the, the waxing half moon. Or no, waning, damn it, waning half moon. Get them mixed up. So, waxing is filling up and waning is, is emptying out. Cool. And that'll be the last one. Brown chicken, brown cow. What? 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 Okay. Well, we still fill up on food. Okay, we are waiting for the waning half. Okay, where are we? What? What? Oh, hey, it's this place! I know this place. So we are now... Uh, here. And that is all the moons. So we now have all the moon gates mapped out. Oh. Keep on messing this up wrong. Let's put it right there. All right, cool. Well, we've got a town to explore, I reckon. Let's go see what's going on in this town over here. Loot. Cave of the Moon is one of the few mandatory dungeons in the game unless you cheat because it's the only one holding the Time Lord. Oh, David Tennant's down there? It is also the dungeon with the greatest number of gold chests. Oh, okay. Well, we'll we'll be dealing that in a second. What uh, what I plan on doing is starting to level up everybody after these things. After these moons are uh, moon gates are leveled up or shown up or fuck. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. 
Hey, I watch I'm gonna make Easter dinner for my lady. All right, man. Well, first off, we gotta we gotta visit this place, right? Also, what's up here? Nothing. Just a little bit of forest. All right, we're in a town of sorts. Hey there, where are we? Welcome to Devil's Guard. Make yourself at home. probably easily say that this is the hometown of the uh, the twin elves we have um, Klaus and uh, oh shit I forgot the other one the MVP darn it what is her name oh good news so far it looks like the, the uh, saves work captain so let's see here Ah, uh, well, hey, dancing lady, we'd like to talk to you and maybe steal from you? Why do we have so many earthquakes these days? Why won't my baby eat his food? Why is he so cold? Demon. Oh, God. Fiend! Um. You again. I'll yell for help. Is it... Let's have you go talk to her. You again on the over here? Oh, man. Okay, so... She's just a bitch. Hey, horsies! Hi! Welcome to the stables. We sell the horses. 800 for... Four. I don't think we have enough money. No, we don't. That's a damn shame. We need to make a note of that. Let's, uh, let's put that on page three. I don't actually know how to draw horses, so... Yeah, you probably did. I thought you were talking about Dawn, which is, like, hidden or shit. Ponies! How's it going, every pony? <laughs> With my terrible pony drawing there. I'm just bad at animals in general. Alright, um... Let's get out of here, so... We'll come back for horsies later. We gotta build up some money. And I got a question whether or not horsies will be something that we can uh, we can trade around the guild or if everybody's gonna have to get horsies. We'll test that out. Hi there, please don't run from us. It's a fine day, isn't it? It's a good day for washing. Oh, you again. What are you doing in this town? There's a dancing kid! Get him! Talk to him! Have a drink with me. Sure. Hey, old man. 
The legend says that the snake hates the sound of the horn. Hmm. Actually, what, uh, what moon is this? Half moon. The earth snake. Hates. Sound of the horn. That could be useful. Also, if I remember right, there's like a mark of the snake. So you have to have both the mark and the horn to get past the snake. I don't know. Oh! Look at that! They have chests behind the counter. We could die. Let's look at the rest of this place before I decide to try and steal from them. <laughs> because guards are no joke in this game, and I cannot run from combat. When the snake sees the mark, it will be frightened. Oh yeah! And... It hates... The mark of the snake. Straighten that out. Good to know. Hey there. We, we would like to drink a ridiculous amount. Uh, Sneak would like to drink. I've decided that Sneak is an alcoholic. An honorable alcoholic. I'll tell you a secret. Uh-huh. Dawn is a town of mystery and magic. Okay. Dawn exists. Yep. That's what I got for 30 gold. Oh my god, they're just drinking all of this gold, and I need to do this. Only one character of the girl needs the mark of the snake. Yeah, probably. I mean, I seem to remember that. Okay, let's change order, because... Ugg and Sneak. I mean, Ugg with a spear, that's fine. But Sneak's got to be in the front. Two. Three. I'll tell you a secret. Darn is a place of mystery magic. Four. Don't drink too much. Oh, and she cuts me off at 40. I think you've had you enough. So uncool. Where were you? I was supposed to have a drink with you, but no. Hey, old lady. 
I look forward to seeing you again. Thank, thank, thank you. Weird. Hey, Mystic. If you come to this town, you must know about the Moon Gates. True. I like to imagine that Sneak there in the front has castanets, and that's why he's doing that with his hands. Whoa! Whoa! Wow, well, that's that's a lot. Um. I'm here to get the water jug. Go to the dungeon if you want the marks. I've already known this, but uh, we should go ahead and write it down anyway. So, no, that's good news. My general gist is that I'm going to hit up Ambrosia with a shit ton of uh, money. We're going to be getting a lot of money. Like, that's going to be one of the things as we level up everybody to get the Mark of Kings. But before we get the Mark of Kings, we're going to get a lot of money. We're going to get a lot of money, then we're going to go to Ambrosia, and we're going to pick, like, I don't know, four or five people. And this may become a grind, it depends because right now we're trying out everybody just to get a gist of who's good who's bad are we going to have like special teams what people are good at that kind of thing um and of course get the personality of everybody in the guild then we're going to start searching for the marks i don't remember what we have to do with the time lord but we'll find out hey what's up there banker that's an awful lot of money but you got behind there. It'd be a shame if something happened to it. Oh, it's the guild shop. There's a guild shop here. Cool. Hmm. Let's grab a tent. We're going to need this place. Actually, that's, a, that's another thing I need to make, make note of is... Uh, As ponies. And a guild. Shop. Shoppe. We'll be stealing from you later. I mean, we'll be back to steal your stuff. I mean, we're gonna take everything you own. I mean... Alright, Devil's Guard, make yourself at home. Thank you very kindly. Let's see what's over here. Hey, it's an old lady! The moon gates appear according to the waxing and waning of the two moons. Get right out of town! Can you tell me what the difference is between Pac-Man and Miss Pac-Man? Well, Miss Pac-Man has a bow. No way! Yes, it's true. All right, let's let's search around the edge here. Oh no, no searching around the edge here. Okay, well, um, nobody is even close to leveling. We've got money issues we should have plenty of gold or food I mean food and yeah we have plenty of food dare we go into one of the uh, dungeons let me see here okay devil's guard is over here the moon cave is over there, which is supposed to have a lot of money. But there's another cave that's only accessible right here, and we don't know anything about that. It requires an open crescent. 
So is there such a thing as a waning half leading to an open crescent? Let's check the moon page. So open half. Yes, to a waning crescent. So we can jump from uh, the Devil's Guard Moon Gate to that island and see what's up with that dungeon. Oh no, open crescent, open crescent. No, there isn't. Okay, interesting. Let's play. We've got to adjust routes. And, okay, we've already done this route, so let's go ahead and kill this. Give me that blue, blue ink. So here's our destination, and here is our starting point. Now, how do we get to an open crescent? An open crescent moon. New moon and uh, waning gibbous. So... New moon is right here. That goes there. And waning gibbous is right here. Okay, so how do we get to a new moon or waning gibbous from a waning half? A uh, waning half leads to a full moon or a goddamn. So let's try and go through, let's try and get there through the new moon. So what leads to a new moon? Um, an open half. Okay, let me see here. We're trying to get here from that. So right now we're trying to go through a new moon to an open crescent. So from the new moon What would this lead? It'll lead to Huh. It'll lead here. It'll lead Opening Gibbous and Full Moon. Opening Gibbous is right here. And full moon is right here. Hmm. Oh, wait a second. An opening gibbous will lead to the opening crescent. Yeah, that's where I, what I need right there. So, okay. I might have to draw a moon map. <laughs> that would actually be pretty cool. Yeah, I might actually do that. I might draw a moon map. In any case, what we need is opening gibbous and then an opening crescent. And that's going to be the jumps that we're going to make. Opening gibbous, and then an opening crescent. Cool. Huh. You know, we're here looking at it. Let's actually make a moon map. Whoops.
Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, new moon. New moon leads to a new moon, so nothing at all. Open crescent, open crescent, open half. So that leads... Open crescent, right here. Can we get... Smaller than three, let's get three pixels. And open half, which is right here. Okay. The, uh, what is that? I think that's meant to be a half. Yeah, I need to redo that one. Okay. Opening crescent goes to opening gibbous, full moon, and closing gibbous. Here's the opening crescent. Here it is. Goes to opening gibbous. Right here. Full moon. Right here. And closing gibbous. Opening half goes to closing half, closing crescent, and new moon. Opening half is right here. It goes to closing half. What is that? Closing half, closing crescent, new moon. Where's the closing crescent? Oh, there it is. Opening gibbous goes to opening crescent, opening half, and opening gibbous. So just opening gibbous goes to opening crescent and then opening half. So these actually link to each other. What else does it go to? Oh, opening half. Where's the opening half? There it is.
Okay, full moon goes to closing crescent and closing half. Moon goes to closing crescent, which is, well, closing half, which also goes here. Good to know. Closing Crescent. Wait a second, it goes to the exact same place as the other one. <laughs> okay. Closing Gibbous goes all kinds of places. The two Crescents and the New Moon. Where's the Closing Gibbous? There it is. Goes to the new moon. Good to know. And the two crescents. So it goes here. Where's the other crescent? There it is. Oh, good. Okay, closing half goes to opening half, opening gibbous, and full moon. There's the closing half. Oh, this is it. Goes to opening half which is right there, which means they link to one another. The full moon, which means that links to one another. And the opening gibbous, which is right there. And then finally, I know this is exciting, right? Closing Crescent goes to Closing Gibbous, Closing Half. That's it, just Closing Gibbous and Closing Half. Where's the Closing Crescent? There it is. Goes to Closing Gibbous, which is that way. All right, which means this is a two-way street as well. And Closing Half. which is right here. Okay, so there we go. We have a moon map, and it's messy as all get out. But it works. This seems complicated. It's a lot easier if I do it this way, but the reason why I'd want to do it this way is so that, for example, right now I'm in Devil's Guard right here. Right? Let me make a route layer. Okay, right now I'm here. At Devil's Guard. That links to the, uh, the waning half moon. I want to go to the opening crescent moon location. How do I do it? Well, we know that the waning half moon goes to the waxing gibbous the waxing gibbous goes to the opening crescent so now we know that we just go uh, waxing gibbous waxing crescent from this place okay so this is our current route all right Is it complicated? Yeah, it's a little complicated. It's mostly complicated because I spent so long actually mapping it. But now that I've mapped it, it shouldn't be so complicated because now I know where everything leads and I can jump from one place to the other. God, um, is, aren't, aren't games fun and not a waste of time?
I guess it's more like the game itself is complicated. Well, it's actually, it's a simple concept that branches out to a pretty complicated conclusion. So, you're half right. The idea is simple. There are two moons, and they are turning at different rates. That's it. That's the idea. That's all it is. The other idea is fairly simple. The first moon dictates when a gate will open, and the second moon dictates where the, where the moon will lead. Now, the next part is also kind of simple. Every gate, there are eight gates, with eight corresponding phases of the moon. So that's three systems. Them interlocking is complicated. Don't know, map mapping can be, can be fun? Yeah. Well, that's also why I kind of wanted to make the moon map. Maps are cool. There we go, and do we have enough? Yes, we do. Missile, motherfucker! All right. The moon we're looking for right now is... Oh, we're going to miss our train. Yeah. Yeah, no, I don't want to go to the full moon. If I go to the full moon, that won't take me to the crescent, I don't think. No, that won't take me to the uh, opening crescent. It's best just to wait. We've got the food. You can kind of see them all, like, talking to each other. Like, so, Ugg, um, do you know any good words? <laughs> There's something like this for Wild Arms 3. I seem to remember Wild Arms 3 being really good. Is that the one with the girl who had two guns? And she was way too trusting, especially at the beginning. And she's like, this guy has screwed us over. Yeah, but we should give him a second chance. Okay, this guy has screwed us over twice. Yeah, but we should give him a third chance. And they're like, Jesus, what is wrong with you? It was still a cool game. Actually, what was, what was Ugg's, uh... Oh, Ugg has a zero intelligence? Good to know. Who, who could have who could have seen that coming? Whereas uh, Sneak is drinking up everything. Most of his rations are uh, alcohol-soaked pierogies. Mm. <sighs> Bjorn is in a quest to find the horn. Yeah, that's the one that was Wild Arms 3? Okay. I actually really like that, but I didn't get very far. Okay, we're getting pretty close to this. We're looking for opening gibbous. Not yet. Two, three, four. There we go. That's the opening gibbous. That'll take us to the southern part of the map, and boom, there we are. Let's 
check status. I'm actually just doing that to get everybody stacked up on one tile. And so right now it is, it's day eight and we need it to be day 22. So we're gonna be here for a little while longer. There we go. And the opening crescent is... Yeah, that's the place we're going. So we're going to find out what the, the name of this dungeon is and we'll be looking around. Alright, here we are. Is there anything hidden up here? Nope, just a lot of bad guys. Hope we don't die! Okay, let's see what's going on in here. Uh, I didn't bring any torches. Oh good, you have light. And everybody is pretty good on food. Whoa, what is this? So, here we go. We're map making. It starts off at... If that's the south, we're starting at the northwest corner, right? So let's make uh, a dungeon page. We don't know the name of this dungeon. I think it's eight by eight, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. My hope was to come into this like not like this, honestly. <laughs> okay. So, we know there's a wall. So, level one of whatever this is. The Cave of Soul. So we've got some marking down to do. Cave of Soul. I know nothing about this cave. Guess we're going to find out. Looks 
like this goes forward one more. We're like, uh, we're like right here, ish, right? Pointing east. There's a fountain. Snake will drink. Cured. What? Uh, Ugh, you you drink it. Cured. What is this doing? It's a fountain of curing, whatever that is. Is this curing poison? Well, good to know that that's there. Um, say, this is a pretty small cave. My guess is if I move over one more towards that uh, ladder, it'll say Cave of Soul. Yep, there it is. So what's in the center? Nothing. So what we have here is... Um, I'm checking for walls. Ah, secret wall! Okay, here we go. Looks like it comes out like that, and that there's something in front like that. Okay, that goes over for a little bit. This is not mm. so slight problem. Um, I need to make more green. There. Okay, so this goes over one, and we have a door right here. What? Okay, so the door does this. <laughs> okay. Um. Let's uh, let's go forward over here. Oh, that's a secret. Uh, that's a secret right there. 
For some ungodly reason, there is a secret right here. Alright, let's see. This is another door. Okay, that goes forward. And looks like it turns to the right okay so that just completes the loop right here how many tiles is that technically if we say that this is actually this tile because I know this game does that wraparound bullshittery that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. How much you want to bet it's more than eleven tiles long? There's also the question of if there's a secret passage to the uh, south. Looks like it does the exact same thing. Looks like it branches out kind of this way. I suspect it'll do the exact same thing, right? It'll just wrap around. Hmm. Well, once again, I would really rather come here when I'm higher level. So, let's head back. It's a whirlpool. It's so adorbs. All right. Let's make another route. This time we don't have to do a lot of work. We're at the Crescent Moon. We basically just want to go back anywhere. Looks like the best thing to do is just to head back to the gibbous, um, the waxing gibbous. And then head north back to Castle Britain. Maybe fight some things along the way. Get some gold. Stuff like that. That could work. I'm surprised we haven't, like, really gotten into a lot of trouble on this mission. I could probably translate these ruins, but do I want to? Eh. 
Okay. We are looking for opening crescent, so it's going to be a while. And that opening crescent going to an opening gibbous. There we go. Oh, I tried talking. I tried making him see reason, but he just wouldn't have it. There we go. Yes, kill them all. They're, they're already dead. Don't cry for me. I'm already dead. Give the uh, battlers, uh, uh, the melee guys, some, some chance to uh, do some combats. I'm not 100% sure, but I think strength is what uh, determines whether or not you hit. It also determines how much damage you do. Unless you're losing, using long range equipment, in which case dexterity uses or determines what. Uh, whether you hit, but I think it's still strength that determines damage. Ninety-nine gold, hell yeah. And it's fighting words, let's fight. Oh boy, okay. So Orc Town. Let's see if we can get rid of some of these. Everybody rush forward! Ah! Like that scene in uh, The Dark Knight Rises. Was it The Dark Knight Rises? Where everybody's running to the st through the streets, uh, charging each other, both sides, the cops and the normal people, with their guns, because that's what you do, right? You run at your enemy with your gun. That's how guns work. I know. After having seen a gun at least twice. And eating a gun. I've eaten a gun. Let me st the flavor tells me it's something that you want to run at people with. Just like, yeah! Taste this! Taste the murder! Ooh, perfect. Battle music or bestest battle music? Well, Bjorn is a kill stealer, so we know that about him now. the trigger at the same time as you strike you do bonus damage I know having eaten a gun all right Hugo uh-oh 
one's magic is failing. Everybody's magic is failing. Okay, good. Bjorn is working out his willpower magic. Uh, what's Bjorn's magic at? No, nope. he can just now do a missile attack. Let's go ahead and magic that missile. Shoot it at the darkness. Bjorn has some mad, or not mad Bjorn, but uh, Hugo has some magic, which is good. I need a heal on Sneak. Sneak was like, all I ever wanted to be was a... All I ever wanted to be was a spinster. I just wanted to make tapestries. But my mother named me Sneak. I didn't want to be a thief. I was born into this work. I know my name has led me to a life of crime, but I blame my mother. My dad wanted to call me Fred. It would have been a great time. Me and my dad being two Freds. Fred Jr. But it wasn't meant to be. I was going to be a thief. Say, uh, Sneak, I can't help but notice that you're letting the clerics open all the chests. Yeah, those things are damn dangerous. Are you crazy? Yeah, there we go. We're all pretty much good to go. How? What's our status at? What kind of... Um... We could do with more fights on our hands. I think that would be good. Back in the day when people named according to their trade. What's your name? Smith. Oh, that's a pretty good name. Thank you. Uh, how about you? What's your name? I'd rather not say. Come on, what's your name? <sighs> Marvin Pissboy. Shit! No, that's my father. a Mel Brooks movie I think it was History of the World Part 1 where they're saying things like your your highness you look like the piss boy what and you look like a bucket of shit and for some reason it stuck with me it wasn't even a good joke but it my 12 year old mind thought that the, was the most brilliant comeback the world had ever seen Sneak is a pretty good combat hog, actually, thinking about it. I know he's like an honorable thief, just because he didn't want to be a thief. He's, he like tries to dress up as much as possible like a knight in his leather armor, but he can't wear it better than leather armor because he was always born to be a thief. I'm reading Pisswater as a real surname. Is it really? I'm not sure if it's clickbait news. I believe it. How are we on food? Could be better. Um, we have enough money to probably 
get, I don't know, about 200 pierogies? 200 pierogies sounds good. Let's go get some pierogies. We are a band of pierogi hunting adventures. We are a band of pierogi hunting rogues. We hunt the pierogies in the bushes, hunt the pierogies in the tacos, hunt the pierogies in this woman's dress. But alas, it does not soothe our distress, for we are a band of pierogi hunting rogues. Give us pierogies! Alright, old man, hand over the pierogies and nobody gets hurt. Do you, do you want some money too? What? No, what do we look like? Just give us the pierogies. Jesus Christ. Now take our money. This is too much. I don't care. Take it or you die. Uh. <laughs> okay. Please don't hurt me or my wife. Make more pierogies. We'll be back tomorrow. Okay, these guys give good experience, so... I think this is very good, yes. This, we are going to experience the hell out of these guys. Bjorn steals the kill. You know what, say what you want about the moon map. This right here. This is a fucking mess right here. Why would you do this? Whoa, that was weird. Just for like a split second, it showed us uh, Mo the Montours. It was the lakes, the Fork Lakes of Montour. Strange. Nobody needs heal. Well, I guess Bjorn could do with some healing. Let's go ahead and heal Bjorn. There we go. Not much. Swing and a miss. I may do some more uh, cybernetic... Uh, baseball tonight because I really enjoyed doing that. That was pretty fun. Pretty crazy too. How long have we been recording? About two hours. Let's see here. These guys just now got started. We should probably save. Um, Bjorn, the steel killer, the kill stealer, uh, is pretty close to leveling up so we're gonna level him up the least. So we're just going to keep him in the back for now. Actually, we should probably level him up and grab somebody new. That would be a way to do it. Just get everybody to level 2 as much as possible. First, though, it be time to get our save on, yo. And I want to do a little bit of an experiment. One that probably won't translate well on the stream. Okay. So, here is our experiment. The save file for Ultima Exodus was last altered on April 21st, 2019 at 7.53 p.m. 7.53. So now, I want to save, and if the save function is working, it will change the timestamp on that save file. Welcome to the end. Would you like to save your game? Yes. It has not changed. Mm, 
let's try refreshing it. It's 9.38 now, not 7.53. Okay. Quick save. Move about. Do a quick load. Okay, good. We're still alive. What's something, what's something specific to us? Uh, there are 194. Yeah, that this whole thing is scary. Did you did it make a new file? No, it did not make a new file. And uh, at least I can save via save states, so I can cheat a save. I hate to say this is this is a save manipulation, and I hate that. I'm gonna restart. Oh, that's right. I gotta hold down the B button. So we are going to continue. Welcome. Our food was at like 194. 194. It saved. What is our uh, experience at? Yep. Bjorn. Okay, it saved. It saved just fine. But it didn't alter the save file. Did it create a new save? You're right. Let me list alphabetically. It created a save state file. That's good. But it did not create a new save file. And it's updated. It has now been altered on April 21st, 2019 in 938, which is when I saved a minute ago. So it's working. Okay, it's working. Make sure you get some fruits with all those pierogies so you don't get scurvy. To the fruit stand! Uh, let's do a little bit of leveling up. Get at least two people to uh, level... Two. So Grind City, let's uh, let's see where are we gonna route to? Because this is this is always the fun part. What we could do is we could like hit up a moon gate, moon uh, zip over to the new moon area, which is actually uh, we could do that. We can do that in two jumps. We can go from down here to there, or we could just like walk that direction would be good too or we could build up money and get horses that would be cool how much muns do we have how much monies do we have right now not enough for horses but we could get horses let's get horses and then we'll call it a night let's see we're filled up on pierogies Ugg says, no fruit. Fruit, the devil's fruit. All fruit. What? No, what about lemons? Let's eat lemons. Ugh! Says Ugg. You there, monster! Have thee any pierogies? Okay, no more spells for you. Missed. Because you're already pretty close to leveling up. Except for the bread and butter of wizardry. Magic missile. Spear him in the head. I like to imagine Magic Missile smells like ozone, like a burnt uh, plug socket. This is actually a terrible formation. Maybe I just like seeing him in pain. I don't know. Oh, by the way, hi, Johnzo. Hi, Meats. Hi, Welgie. Hugo doesn't have a whole lot of strength. We'll change that. There we go. All right. Grab some of this gold. Bjorn, you're up to bat. 
80. Nice. Ten more of those and we can... You're there! Pierogies! No. No, goblins don't eat pierogies. They eat other things. Like shoes and guns. Since I'm not using Repel on Bjorn, he's already got enough experience. Then, uh, yeah. It's gonna turn into a firefight, like in Boondock Saints. It was a firefight! Eat hot missile. Mmm, hot missile. Warms you up. Oh man, Hugo is having a real tough time with his delicate hands killing this this here goblin. Yay! The deed is done dirt cheap. There we go, Hugo. Why don't you open up? Uh, six, seven. We maybe have 800 now. Darn it. Let's gather the gold. There we go. We'll trust the uh, the thief with all of this gold. I'm sure, it'll turn out fine. Eight hundred. That's enough. Let's go get a horse. Let's go get four horses. Wow, that's a that's a lot of dead things. Man, this music's getting me pumped. That soft horn. That sleepy time tempo. Makes me either want to kill skeletons or yawn. But not both. Get him! Get him! Gonna have to start healing everybody. Okay, let's grab that. Hugo, you go ahead and do that. Alright, these two guys are gonna wait in while uh, Bjorn and Hugo heal up Ugg. Ugg needs healing badly. You guys gotta wait a little bit before that uh, healing kicks in. One more turn, Hugo should be able to cast that. Ooh, okay. Uh, I guess Sneak is gonna be the one that gets this extra heal. couple of turns before another heal comes off. Ten turns apart for each heal. Ooh, ugh. Not looking good, man.
Okay. Let's see if we can dodge some of these guys. No, we've only made it worse. We've only made it worse. Ah, he's going to catch up anyway. All right. Um, yeah, you can cast magic. Give Ugg some healings. And you can cast magic. Give Sneak some healings. And let's wade into combat. Let me see here. Well, I mean, four people, four orcs. We can do this. Let's make a weird formation, line them up. Hugo and Bjorn got their maces ready. Damage spread out all around. There we go. Bjorn doing pretty good with the hand-to-hand -hand combat. Awesome. Hugo having some trouble there. But Hugo's got some pretty delicate hands. The transition wasn't perfect. Can do it, Hugo. We believe in you. Oh man, this is getting worse. <laughs> um, Hugo needs some healing, so why don't we do that? Wow, that's a good heal. Damn, son. Let's see, stop here, stay, move forward to the right. I don't know if Hugo can handle two uh, goblins at once, so... Yeah, let's hold the line! Hold the line! Nope, can't cast a spell. I'd like to know if a high strength affects attack or if a high dexterity affects attack. I seem to remember in Ultima 4, it was a high dex that uh, hit and the strength did damage. But the dexterity also was like your, uh, your defense. It was both attack and defense. I might be remembering that wrong. Get out of here, goblin. Go home and be a family man. I need a guide. Oh, you read a guide. Or you read a guide. I don't know. English is weird. Could be uh, present tense or past tense. Come on, Bjorn. You can do it. We have some faith in you. We're behind you like 20% of the way. Okay, let's, uh, heal Sneak. Well, our, our horse adventure has turned into something special here. are Le Bond. Uh, who needs healing? Well, it doesn't matter. Hugo can't cast heal yet. Now, who needs it? 
Uh, Bjorn needs it. Bjorn needs to heal himself. Ja. Or ya. Yeah. No, we, we can be as Swedish as we want. What do the Swedes think of the Swedish chef Muppet? Are they offended by that? I don't actually know. I've never bothered asking. I am a fool for not asking. Anybody Swedish out there? Damn, they're tearing us apart, man. Skeletor being Skeletor. I guess we'll find out. There we go! Skeleton killed. This is what happens when a bunch of Skeletors show up on the uh, on the field of battle. Brainless idiots! You couldn't even beat a motley group of gnomes. Out of my way, beast! Stop him, you fools! Oh, he's gone. Uh, who does that cabbage think he is? <laughs> who does that cabbage think he is? Fleabag, get out of my sight! A lot of good you are, beast brain. Are we flying backwards, beastie? <laughs> Silence, you furry fool! I've had it with your whining and bumbling. Go, and don't let me see your mangy hide around here again! You furry flea-bitten fool, I'll cover my throne with your hide! <laughs> the fool traded it to me for Eternian silver! You try my patience, witch! It's the sorceress, you boob! Back up! Boy, you furry coward. Oh man, this forest, yo. Oh crap, crap, no, 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 get away, get away, get away, get away. Good times. So what are we trying to do? That's right, we're trying to get to, uh, to Dragon's Guard. So that was a hell of a thing you just did. All right, let's go to opening half and then closing half, and that should be good enough. We gotta wait though. Um. Hi. Damn it. Missed. Back. Let's see, who needs the most healing right now? Sneak does. Who needs the most healing after that? Ugh. Alright. We are going to delay this so that we can do some more healing. This also throws oh, throws out our timing. By the time we get back, we'll have missed the bus for the uh, the goddamn. God, this is a mess. Heard Fleur, Gerd Heard, Hang the Do. Flippity Her, Gerdy Herp did do. The Swiss on their opinion of the Swedish chef. That shit's racist.
you. Oh, yeah, okay. All right, Hugo. Bashing shit with a mace. Heck yeah. Um, who do we need healed? Hugo needs healing. Bjorn. There we go. Now we got some gold. So how much gold do we have after all of that? 1,200. Not bad. We're going to get us some horses. Okay, we are looking for the waxing half moon. There we go. Okay, so we got some choices here. Because two of these head to Devil's Guard. Um, both of them do, actually. Yeah, we can just get, grab the full moon gate to a uh, uh, waning half moon. You know who doesn't give two shits about cultural appropriation? The Mexicans. Be like the Mexicans. Okay, ultimately though, we're looking for either of these gates open with a waning half moon. Boom, there we go. Watch there to be some beast outside of this forest. Nope, we're good. Oh, well, we're kind of good. Hi. Oh, God. No, Bjorn, Bjorn, do this. We don't know. Bjorn, you can't do it. Bjorn. Why, Bjorn? Why? Who needs healing most? Sneak. And then, next up is actually Bjorn. And we're just going to heal while Sneak and Ugg take care of these two guys. Why is this song continuing to go? Why hasn't it stopped? The whole thing with being racist against white guys is you can absolutely, like, there's that question, can, can you be racist against white people? To which I say, ask the Irish. <laughs> and maybe the Chinese? I mean, their skin is white-ish. And if you say it's yellow, you're racist. So, it's, it's this thing, man. You could be racist against elves, I guess. But, like... The problem is, is what race is in general. Race is a form of categories used as a political maneuver by the people in, in charge. Blacks are a race because it was necessary for politicians back in the 18 and 1700s to define them so that they could go, I don't know, kidnap them and sell them. Irish is a race because French and English are a race and they didn't like the Irish. Chinese is a race, but like, which race of Chinese? Because Chinese is several races. It's, it's a mess because the category isn't real. It's, it's not a real thing. It's, it's, that's the problem. It's, it's not even an illusion. Illusions are something. It's just, it's, it's not a thing. And people who think it's a thing get hung up over it.
Meanwhile, horses! Horsey, horsey, horsey. We desire horses! And also, I think we're all leveling up! Oh my god! We're short to only one... One experience point for Sneak? Someone in this town's gonna die! Convenient, like money. Problematic, like money. Yeah. Although money is something, is a thing. Money actually is something. It's a measurement. It's like inches, or... It's like degrees of temperature. It's a measurement of something. Race isn't even that. It's like, what are you race... You know, what? what is it? Like, I, I ran across this, um... This guy who did this DNA test. Uh... I guess you would call him black. When he got the test back, he said he found that he wasn't actually African. He almost had no African in him, uh, other than the, like, normal amount. It, nothing significantly African about him. He was actually Indian. So, he goes to his grandma, who's like, she's like 80 at this point, 80-something. And he says to her, we're Indian. And she just shakes her head and says, honey, I'm too old to be anything else. And the, the truth is, he's human. He's not elf or dwarf. He's human. And that's about as race as you can get. Everything else is just kind of a... Like, even that's not really race. Right? That's species, right? <laughs> anyway, horses! Yes, we would like horses! Give us horses! Sneak, pay for these horses! Take care of them. Will do. I'm guessing they're outside. Do I get them here? Uh, they, they, those actually look like goats. Those are goats. Did you sell us goats? Where are my horses? Oh! There are the horses! Oh my god! They are goats! Well, we're gonna have to go up against this guy anyway. <laughs> There's a menu selection. But so... Wait a second. So, I mean... Are horses just there? Like, I have questions. No, you won't. You can't uncircle around those... Guys, now. Guys, okay. No, I'm, that's not what I mean. I mean, like... Okay, so... I thought horses were like ships. That you unmount them and they're just gone, but... It seems like we just have horses to which case like my question is does the are the guilds horses now you can't ride them in the battle get a move bonus or something no that's not what i'm asking the horses move twice as fast as normal so instead of uh there we go he's leveling up he's i don't know if he's leveling up but like in in the commodore version the way it worked was you would unmount the horses and they would just freaking be there and you would have to come back for them later. You could leave them behind is what I'm saying. You could leave horses behind. It looks like that isn't the case with these. Like they just are summoned from the ether. Like they weren't there. I don't know. We're, we're going to do some testing after we uh, we kick some ass and take some names. Yes. Ether. Shouldn't have got so close to me, Orc. Shouldn't have got to me. See, there. Now we're being racist against Orcs. Fuck Orcs, am I right?
Wow, 96 gold. All right, so question. What happens if we horse? The horse disappears, but now if we horse... Suddenly horses! So let's unhorse over here. And if we go over here and horse, we have horses. Now, the question is, are these guild horses? Can anybody in the guild use these horses? I have questions. Wow, they actually move pretty fast in the forest, though. That's pretty nice. All right, let's get moving. Okay, we gotta wait here for a little bit. Let's see. We want to go to... Here. We need a waxing gibbous. You always have the command horse now. Cool. How many days we got? It's the 22nd, and we need the 7th. It's actually going to be pretty fast. Cool. We need a gibbous. All right, let's dodge some bastards. Return with our horses. Okay, yeah, wow. Okay, we're we're just walking circles around these uh, bad guys. Oh, what? That is bullshit. Bullshit! No mames! <laughs> Sorry, I channeled a little bit of, um... You know, it doesn't matter. We're gonna let Ugg take care of all of this. You go, Ugg. We believe in you. We're all gonna talk over here. I find this happens a lot with the barbarians. Let's give Ugg a little boost. There you go, Ugg. Go learn new words. Like smash and stab. I think that'll be good. Well, he learned smash. The word of power. We're all going to stand over here and just sort of Hang out. What'd you have for lunch today? Pierogies, really? Could not have guessed. Now, how about you, Bjorn? You are actually eating grass. Why? Well, I mean, some people juggle geese. And sometimes, there are people who can just summon horses out of the ether. It happens. I've seen it. Horses out of the ether. Boom. No horses, and then suddenly horses. Let's get greedy. And get back to Cap Castle Britannia. Boom. Oh, hell yeah. We can ride horses into the castle like the badasses we are. Can we talk to people on them? Hey, you. We're on a horse. can't tell which way I'm pointing, but hey, I'm on a horse. Okay, we'll be a little uh, respectful to the king. Uh, let me check everyone's status. Uh, one level, two level, three level... Oh, uh, Hugo is not leveling up. That's kind of bizarre, actually. Let's do it anyway. Sneak. I know you've had hardships on this journey. And because of that, you've done so well, I will give you these fabulous prizes! You get more hit points! You get harder beasts to fight! 
Don't worry about gold! You're gonna need tons of it! And, yeah, Hugo is not leveled up, but that's okay right now. Horse our way to the inn. Get some horsing around done here. Some calf in the Great action. Yeah. That's something Russia wishes they could forget. Okay, and just to be safe, I am doing a quick save. Like a save state. Okay, I think that's going to be good for now. We've actually made a shit ton of progress. Oh, no, before I go, there's something I want to know. Farm party. Let's grab Tickly, Sinner, Ugg, and Alien. Welcome! Yes, we can horse! They are guild horses! They are guild horses. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> That's cool. So, alright. Good to know. The Loon Attacks now have Guild Horses. Let's name them, shall we? And I know exactly what I want to call them. They are the Four Horsemen Horses. Horse... The Four Horse Horses. Behold! John! Paul! George! And Ringo! Beware their mighty steedy hooves! The four man horses. Ooh, that's good. The four man horses. John, Paul, George, and Ringo. Guild whores. I mean horses. Don't ask them to vote on anything. For all they'll say is nay. We still don't know who the guild leader is. Can you believe that? I've heard some people say it should be Techly. I don't know. What do you guys think? That said, uh, let's go ahead and shut this down for YouTube. This is a two and a half hour video. That should be enough for YouTubes. So, all right. Uh, say goodbye to YouTubes. Uh, everybody who's watching, uh, thank you. Sneak, 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 sneak is the sneak is the leader. Sneak is the leader. Knows how to get work done under the table, and he's an honorable thief who didn't want to be a thief, but he is. He is. Anyway, <laughs> goodbye, YouTube. Stop the recording.